Worst case scenario, there could end up in lawsuits and shut the funeral home down. When the funeral rule was put into place, besides undercover investigations, the FTC was literally relying on consumers to file these complaints. How would a consumer even know what their rights are if the law was just published to funeral homes? Like it literally makes no sense. Okay, so to make things even worse, I'm gonna read you a direct quote from the article. Um, when the FTC would send out undercover agents like secret shoppers who would check on the compliance, the FTC would sue the funeral homes that had multiple violations. The lawsuits were cumbersome and costly, and the funeral industry's main lobbying group, the National Funeral Directors Association, the NFDA, felt that these lawsuits were hitting their reputation. Well, no crap, they were hitting their reputation. So in the 1990s, the NFDA approached the FTC with the following idea. They proposed to come up with an arrangement that would benefit all parties, funeral homes, the National Funeral Director Association, and the FTC. What they proposed and what is in effect was that when a funeral home was found to have violated the funeral rule, instead of going through the litigation route, which would bring attention to the fact that they are overcharging and being corrupt, 